when you take a break from social media, you don't have to announce into the world. With all due respect, nobody is that important, and we don't actually care that much. Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So, man, Stephen A. Smith just went in on LeBron James on first take, and we're going to get into this. You know, um, LeBron announced yesterday he's taking a break from social media, right? And he quoted Rich Kleiman, who's KD's business partner, um, one of his tweets. And this is what he said. He said, with so much hate and negativity in the world today, it confuses me on why some national sports media still think that the best way to cover sports is through negative takes. We can all acknowledge that sports is the last part of society that universally brings people together. So why can't the coverage do the same? It's only clickbait when you say it. When the platform is so big, you can make the change and allow us all an escape from real life negativity. I for one find it all a waste of breath. The Olympics and the JJ and Braun show was the future of what this can and should be. And, Le and uh, LeBron says, amen, Rich Kleiman. And then after that, LeBron said, and with that said, I'll holler at y'all. Getting off social media for the time being. Y'all take care. And so LeBron announces his exit from social media, which I don't believe. I believe he's going to be still looking. He just probably won't be tweeting. Um, that's normally what it means when people get off. But um, looking at this, right, LeBron, some people are accusing him of taking Dalton Connect's moment because Dalton Connect just had that big game. He's getting positive uh, media coverage right now. So why would you say anything right in that moment about it and this has nothing to do with um this right you look at lebron's tweet right here and this is what he says about Bronny. you know it's lightweight hilarious he's better than some of these guys on league pass that's been the thing he's most sensitive about uh here lately he hasn't responded to it but if you go check the quotes on that tweet they're getting updates by the minute and people are going back to that because of how Bronny has performed up until this point. So on one hand, you know, sometimes, yes, the media gets very clickbaitish. On the other hand, you can't fuel the flame. And then, you know, when the fire get out of control, you go back and you like, why, why is it so negative? Because you were disrespecting your peers when you said Bronny was better than any of them that was playing. Cause you said, I'm watching these guys on league pass. You didn't say the players on the bench, which, you know, they still better than Bronny at this point, but you talking about guys that are in playing rotation minutes. You know, I don't even care if you were talking about the Pistons, you, you know, you can't put Bronny out there with Jay Navi and those guys right now. They're way better than him. So, with that being said, we're going to get into what Stephen A. Smith said. Well, first, we're going to get into LeBron talking about Dalton Connect because he was sensitive about the media calling him a liar where I saw um, Jalen Ramsey do it to his face on his show. Let's check it out. What do you see now? I don't know. You know same thing I said last year. You know, everybody, you know, on the internet called me a liar all the time. It's just that lie about everything. <laughs> so, what am I now? I've been said it. I, I watched him. I watched Tennessee a lot. I watched Tennessee a lot. I did not think he was going to fall to us. I thought it would be impossible. Um, I have no idea how that happened, but very grateful and very uh, happy that he's here. Um, I knew exactly what he was getting uh, when he fell to 17. 17, right? Yeah, 17. Yeah. Nah, that's not something you say. That's that, that's not something you publicize. And they go after their own. So when we talk about national media, who's Rich Kleiman talking about? Who's LeBron James co-signing on with that? What are you talking about exactly? Give examples. We're all ears. We're all ears. But they won't do that. You know why? Because then you get challenged. And you're getting challenged on the level of consistency that you may be lacking with your argument. This is first take, baby. I'm here all the time. Anytime, any place they want the platform, let's go. I don't want to hear that nonsense from them. Who the hell y'all think y'all talking to with your hypocritical asses? You ain't getting away with that. You, 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 you feed off of this. You profited off of this. We hoping to make the kind of money they made already. Not just by playing, mm -hmm. 
But by the way, you've manipulated the proceedings to position yourself to gain even further cachet. And then after you do that, all of a sudden you throw up your hands and go like, what's wrong with us? Can't we be better? Can't we be more positive? That's the BS that needs to be called in the carpet. Play basketball, handle your business, save the lecture for other people when you're fed off of it all of these years. Oh, he's a master. He ain't coming in front of the camera and saying all of that. But behind the scenes, oh, my Lord, you talk about somebody that know how to stir the cup. That brother is a master, an absolute (laughs) master. But in front of the camera... Uh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Behind the camera, talking amongst, sifting through all the relationships that he has. Trust me, I'm telling you what I know. The things that I could say, the things that I could <laughs> say. <laughs> Stephen A. Oh I'm my sorry. God. Oh, y'all, don't, 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 don't do it. I'm not going to 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 do it. Oh, trust me. I'm not. Hold on. Wendy, I got to go to break. Was that right? I, right. I have. Uh, I'm not. I'm not talking you out of it. Wendy. I'm not saying you're wrong. No. Nope. Wendy. So I skipped over some of the things that Stephen A. Smith said, but he also brought up that tweet that I showed about Bronny, and you stir that type of pot, and then when it doesn't go the way you planned it to go, now you're uh, trying to say it's negative media coverage, but it's just a rebuttal to what you said, and it goes back even further to you getting in. Bronny's layup lines and Shannon and all those guys saying you're stealing the moment. You're you're just making this thing bigger than it has to be by always having to be the center of attention of everything. Um, I think that was Dalton Connect's moment. Um, And on a macro level, I feel like it takes his moment a little bit because now what are we talking about? We're talking about LeBron James leaving social media when Dalton Connect you know, hitting big shots down the stretch, going off from the perimeter, really getting it in, um, you know, for the Lakers. Supplanted D'Lo Russell in the starting lineup, doing positive things. And, oh, yeah, the Lakers are winning right now, right? They are actually playing well. And now this is the conversation. Um, It's always kind of been the conversation. And this is what I'll say about Brian. Uh, The media, like, the most negative time of media probably for him was the decision time. Uh, So what's going on right now doesn't really compare, I don't think, to the decision. You know, um, for one, Bronny seems to be fine with it. You know, Bronny's not saying too much about it. He's just letting it be. Um, But LeBron... I, you created this, right? You got you put Bronny in this position before he was ready, and now you're sensitive with the media. Unfollowed Pert. Unfollowed Rachel Nichols at one point because everything they say about Bronny isn't, you know, he's going to be an all-star one day just to give him time. That isn't the report that everybody's given. Um, Pert was just simply saying, why are we talking about Bronny uh, leading up to the draft so much? Because there's a number one pick, there's a number two pick, there's other people. Why are we talking about this? Why are we making basketball about this? So you you can't have it both ways, uh, LeBron. You can't get mad at Perk for saying why are we talking about Bronny so much. And now that the coverage is this way, because we know what you're talking about. People can read between the lines. You're talking about the coverage of Bronny right now. That's the thing you're sensitive about. Um, you can't say he's better than people in the league. You can't say you want him on the team. Get him there prematurely and and have all this coverage around him, um, which you've done. You've tweeted out things yourself uh, with your big social media platform that has exacerbated the situation and um for you to try to put that on national media i mean i i don't think what they're doing is that bad right now to be honest with you and stephen a smith and those guys don't talk down on them but you know that he one thing stephen a smith did say is that lebron uses his relationships behind the scenes and that's the thing that uh michelle beetle kind of said uh about her you know her time at espn lebron was calling people behind the scenes to get her taken off of tv you know you're trying to stop people from eating um you know that's 
I, I, I don't believe in abuse of power, you know, saying I won't come on your network if you do this with this person, especially if, you know, it's just something like the decision, right? I may not do a sit down one on one interview with that person. And yes, I may do it with the person who bigs me up the most on the uh, network, but to stop them from eating completely. Nah, they, you know, they could just stay over there. I stay over there, especially if it isn't um, something attacking my family or something ultra personal. You know what I'm saying? So LeBron announcing that he has to leave social media. Anybody that have to announce it, just leave, bro. Just leave. Um, but to announce it, that's still attention seeking behavior, man. And, and it is what it is. And I know some worshipers will come and say, oh, that's hate. Everything ain't hate. Like if I was to do that, if I announced that I'm leaving social media on in my little small world um, with the friends even on Facebook or people that I always know, people can be like, dang, what's wrong with him? Like I, I'm inviting that to be the conversation. So this isn't exclusive to LeBron James. This is attention seeking behavior. And it is what it is, man. But let me know what you think in the comments, what you think about Stephen A. Smith going off. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time. Peace.